Hello, you're watching a gospel moment brought to you by the Liberty Church of Christ in Dennis, Mississippi. My name is David Conley. For the next five minutes, I'd like to invite you to consider the question, Have I touched Jesus? In Luke chapter number 8, there's a great story, a great incident that happened in the life of Jesus. A man named Jairus had come to Jesus and said, My daughter's sick, and I would like for you to come and, and heal her. Unfortunately, the daughter's going to die. But fortunately, it was Jesus that come, and he's going to raise Jairus' daughter from the dead. But in the transition from the time he was asked to the time he finally got to Jairus' home to raise the daughter, there was a woman who had an issue of blood. She had spent her entire living trying to cure this problem. And she thought to herself, if I could just touch Jesus, just touch the hem of His garment, I'll be healed. That woman was healed. And Jairus' daughter was healed. Let's consider three ways that people touch Jesus. The first way is incidentally. You know, some people touch Jesus incidentally. They never think about it. They just come in contact with Him on a daily basis and nothing ever changes in their life. I'm sure that Jesus was being touched incidentally by the crowd of folks as He went from where Jairus asked Him to come to Jairus' home. Crowd people were thronging Him. A lot of people incidentally touched Him. A lot of people the woman incidentally touched as she was trying to reach Jesus. But she didn't just incidentally touch Him. She had a reason to touch Him. She wanted a change in her life. Jairus needed the change. She wanted a change. Then there's another way that we touch Jesus. Curiously. We're just curious about it. People touch things all the time just to see what it feels like. Lifestyles, friends, activities, things, stuff. You know, many touch Jesus simply out of curiosity. They won't don't want a commitment to Him, and, and they don't even plan to make a commitment to Him. They're just curious. They'll go to church and just kind of look around and see what it's like and what worship is like and maybe what prayer is like. They just want to know what Jesus feels like, but they never change. This woman, she wanted change in her life, and she wasn't just curious. She knew that Jesus could heal her body. Jairus knew that Jesus could heal His daughter. They had a purpose. And that's the next way that people touch Jesus. On purpose. You know what you want. And you expect something to happen. Something to change. This woman knew that if she touched Jesus, even the hem of His garment, she would be cured. Jairus knew that if Jesus would come to his house, his daughter would be healed. Folks, that's exactly what faith is. It's knowing. It's expecting. It's trusting that something will happen when we come in contact with Jesus. When we intentionally reach out and ask Jesus for his blessings and His doctrine and His teaching, and we intentionally obey His commandments. You know, we need to turn our incidental touches and our curiosity, turn it away, and touch Jesus on purpose. Let's pray. Father God, we thank You so much for Your goodness and Your power and sending us Your Son. Father, we want to touch Jesus and we want to touch Him on purpose. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. You've been listening and watching a Gospel Moment brought to you by the Liberty Church of Christ in Dennis, Mississippi. If you have any questions, comments, or you'd like to set up a free Bible study correspondence course, please give us a call at area code 662-454-7362. That's 662-454-7362. Thanks for listening and watching A Gospel Moment.